de dar la bienvenida a las Naciones Unidas, al excelentísimo señor... Nowhere does the Charter arrogate the right to some to sit in judgment over others in carrying out this universal obligation. In that regard, we reject the politicization of this important issue and the application of double standards to victimize those who dare think and act independently of the self-anointed prefects of our time. We equally reject attempts to prescribe new rights that are contrary to our values, norms, traditions, and beliefs. We are not gays. Towards <laughs> Agenda 2063, unquote. It's we reiterate our unwavering support to the just cause of the Palestinian people. Do we agree, Mr. United States? We also reiterate that lasting peace in the Middle East can only be achieved through negotiations to achieve a two-state solution based on the pre-1967 borders. We are concerned by the increase in tensions in that region and urge the United Nations to assume its responsibility and bring an end to this senseless conflict. University of Science and Technology. I've also read of the tragedy and loss of life in the Mediterranean. The majority of the affected people are from Syria or from other countries devastated by conflict and instability. Instability induced in great part by the destabilization policies of external forces. This tragic situation could have been avoided through the respect of the independence of other countries and non-interference in the internal affairs.